coming off a huge game season last year. I think the uh, couch just broke. The couch is currently breaking. Not sure why that's happening. We've but got some muscular dudes on the couch wow. up here on the stage. Sorry about that. I like to call it uh, density. Yes. Yeah. Heft. Hefty. Big boys. Sorry. Anyway, what were you saying? Um, you came off of a big season last year. Indeed. Give us a little bit of a snapshot of where you are uh, in the season this year and where Wadapalooza falls in your season, how you're coming off the open. Uh, just, yeah, Yeah, a little us. rundown. Gotcha. Please. Cool. I had a fantastic season last season. Um, actually, Leading up to it, it was pretty rough. Leading up to the games, I should say, it was there were a lot of ups and downs. Had a pretty tough open, a couple qualifying competitions that didn't go the way that I would have liked them to, and um, was starting to get pretty discouraged actually, and kind of contemplating whether or not I wanted to start competing. Luckily, I continued on and I had my best finish at the CrossFit Games. I took second place overall which was pretty awesome. Big goal of mine to get on the podium at the games. Thank you so much. Um, and so, yeah, riding the high from that, I was able to luckily perform well during the Open. I, I got a qualifying spot. And I am just here in Miami because I've done Wadapalooza every single year since it's been around. This is my ninth year, and it's Wadapalooza's ninth year. So I love this competition. I love all the people. It's in my backyard. And uh, just excited to have some more fun this weekend. What's up? Bro, drop, uh, the water, drop the mic. Dude, so uh you had a you had a you had a pretty killer 2019 CrossFit games, dude. I did. Yeah, it was really cool. I had a very good time at the games this year. What's the what's the reverberation of that type of a, of a moment into the rest of your like the upcoming season, right? Like are you still feeling that sort of a high? Like do you still think of that moment? Yeah, I think so. I uh, I think it can go one of two ways, right? Could be like the pressure of coming in second. Now there's the expectation that people think that you should beat everybody else because you did so well at the games. Um, but rather than let myself feel that pressure, I wanted to almost think of it as a removal of pressure from myself because for years I've been putting the pressure on myself to make it on the podium. So I finally made it and now I can kind of let go of that pressure and expectation and have that checked off my list and just try to enjoy the rest of competing in my career, you know? So I don't know if I worded that well, but no, the idea I, was I there. I feel it, yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of enjoying your competing, you are one of the athletes that definitely goes out there with like a big smile on the face, even in the middle of some of the most uh, like brutal workouts ones. out there, yeah. right? Try to. Yeah, so, you know, what? what is it that you're, like, do you have, like, a mantra? Are you thinking something? Are you trying to, like, put something through your head that, like, actually puts you in that mood? Or um, You know, I, I remember specifically regionals a few years ago. I would always go out onto the floor, like, really angry and pent up, and I felt like a caged animal in the corrals, and then I'd get out there. And because I was so wound up, if something went wrong, it would snowball, and I would just have, like, this freak out moment. And there was one time I took the floor during regionals and I remember seeing Joanne and my family in the crowd and I just kind of smiled and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try to smile and enjoy this workout and it went super well and I just kind of locked in on that I said, that's going to be my thing, I'm just going to enjoy it and I think it makes it a lot less um, anxious and uh, I don't even know the word, but yeah, it, it works. Last night. I was texting Joanne, I was like, I don't, I have no idea how this one's gonna go, the, the bike sprint and the overhead lunges. I'm just gonna try to do my thing and she said just, what did she say, picture yourself on a beach and smile and, and be there while you're on the bike. And I actually did try it, I remembered when she said that on the bike and I was like, I'm on a beach, I'm on a beach, but. <laughs> this beach sucks. Yeah, it's the worst beach ever. <laughs> so last works. question. Caged animal, you got a bit of a unicorn horn going on with your is hair. Is that what that is? I'll take it. So what's the <laughs> what's the plan here? What is this going somewhere? Are you making I, yeah, like a I don't know. Plan? I'm just kind of trying something new, um, just free flowing, and it was eventually, or it may eventually turn into dreadlocks. I'm not entirely sure if that is gonna follow through, but as of right now, just free spirit, trying something new, enjoying it. The James Newbury, it's yeah, a good look, Yeah, yeah, James was a little bit of my inspiration to go for the dreads. It's a good look. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you, you good brother. luck today. Appreciate you guys.